All right, so now that the email has come in, and I know that um, it has because I've received it via the ccnmtl at columbia.edu email address, I will sign into user voice, and I use the standard ccnmtl at columbia.edu and the silver pair to log into the site. And then I can click on this button here to go into the admin console. When I do that, I can see that I've got a ticket that's in. When I click on the ticket list, I see this note that's come in and it says I'm going to be out of the country, I'd like to record a lecture. Now I can type an answer here in this space, but before I do that I want to sort of give a, get an idea of whether there's a uh, canned response already. So I'm going to just type in here lecture, capture, there's nothing under lecture cap. A couple of items about lectures here. Let's just try record because that might be another word. All right, so we don't have an article about this at this point, so I'm going to want to type in uh, response to this person. Dear Walter, and then I'll sign my response to this person here at the end, and I can uh, scroll down here a little bit more uh, and send this note back to Walter and close the ticket out. I can also provide a note for my fellow staff members, and then I can add that note. And this ticket is now closed. I can also reopen the ticket. I can um, also delete the ticket or, or spam it if I want to at this point. But um, you can see that I've gotten now this, um, this uh, item has been uh, responded to. Now at this point, if I wanted to, I could actually come in here and create an article based on this response. So when I do this, the original um, subject of the faculty member's email comes in here. Right, and then I can sort of clean this up so that it's a little bit more generic. I can publish it and categorize it if I want to. But at this point I'm just going to create it and I'll publish it later after I've had some more time to, to turn it into an article. So when, when I look at the knowledge base area, I'll see that now there is this article that I've written. It's private. At, at any point, I can come back in here and edit it and turn it into um, a, a uh, FAQ item. Now, when I do that, it's going to publish out automatically to the CCNMTL sites that use general um, information um, FAQ items. So it's a nice way of not only managing the response to Walter, but it's also a nice way of creating a new article.